A late night raid by police in August 2010 sparked the couple's revolution. Police found 1.8 kilograms of dacha in their home. They've been charged with possession and intent to sell and face a lengthy jail sentence if convicted. Between us, we've smoked for 50 years of our lives between us and we've had a really good life uh, with this plant uh, as part of it and we owe it to the plant to do what we're doing. Now known as the Dacha couple, they're not giving up without a fight. The couple have turned their case on its head, challenging government to legalize marijuana. We are now suing seven government departments on the charges that they are upholding unlawful laws and constitutional laws. So we have now become the plaintiffs. While Dacha is decriminalized in the Netherlands and only recently legalized in Uruguay, South Africa classifies the drug as bad as heroin. The law here considers it a dangerous, dependence-producing drug with no medicinal use. But the couple's case is based on the premise that it's their constitutional right to use the plant, and by doing so, they're not hurting anyone. The case against this plant is probably the most successful propaganda campaign ever. It's been going on for, depending upon where you are in the world, but anywhere between 70 and 100 years. That's what we're up against. So we have to overcome that. There's so many misconceptions about this plant, so many. The pair are claiming it is safer to consume weed than alcohol or tobacco. It can also be used for medicinal purposes, and they further claim it is not a gateway drug. We're cannabis activists now. It's been three years of this. You can call us what you want. We know that we are speaking the truth. The Dhaka couple face a long road to re-legalization. Months, maybe even years of litigation lay ahead. But they are determined that smoking cannabis in South Africa will one day become commonplace. Nicholas Bauer, Johannesburg. News that moves. ENCA.com.